bathe with me today because I haven't done one in a while and I'm making some peanut butter blondies for my friend. And this is one of my favorite recipes ever. I make these pretty much every week. They're so delicious. So I thought I would film the recipe and I also put on my stories on Instagram for people to ask me some questions. So I'll do a cheeky little q and A. It's gonna be a good time. I promise you these blondies, if you make them, will be one of the best things you ever eat. Unfortunately, I don't get to eat this batch because they're a gift for my friend. They're honestly life-changing. For the q and I asked people to ask me some juicy things. I haven't actually checked the questions, but hopefully there's some juicy ones on there. I wanna spill some tea, you know? And I'm drinking tea right now very hot. <laughs> There's a fly in the kitchen and it's really pissing me off but I also don't want to kill it or whack it because it, I would feel really bad but it's very irritating. Also my tripod is incredibly broken so if the angles are shit during this video I apologize I really need to buy a new one. Um, What's wrong? Anyway, should we start with a few questions? And then we'll get baking. Do, 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 do. I finally found what I've been looking for. Do, 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 do. I have um, High School Musical stuck in my head today. Okay, this is a good one. This is an incredibly good one. These are my three biggest male crushes. Well, some of them. Bang, marry, kill. Leonardo DiCaprio, Christian Bale, and Brad Pitt in their 20s slash 30s. Why are you doing this to me? Why are you doing this to me? Oh my God. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna ban Christian because Christian Bale is, especially in his 20s, 30s, like his American psycho days, goodness me, the hottest piece of ass <laughs> to ever exist. But I am unsure of Christian Bale's personality. He seems a little bit mean at times so i'll ban christian i'm in love with him he's gorgeous but I'm, I'm gonna ban christian i'm gonna marry leonardo again romeo and juliet titanic era of leonardo absolutely impeccable chef's kiss and also i think leonardo caprio seems like the nicest person ever especially when he was younger just what a heartthrob i'm gonna marry him i'm gonna kiss brad pitt again fight club era of brad pitt extremely gorgeous but he is my third choice out of the three look at me acting as if any of them would want to ban kiss or marry me three very gorgeous men do you prefer bacon in silence or with music slash background noise 100 100 percent i love bacon with music on but i can't do it when i am filming because of copyright but i love filming with jazz music really chill out music there's this thing on youtube called oldies playing in another room and it's raining and it's the most i'll put the link in the description it's the most relaxing thing ever 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 this is a gorgeous cup of tea you know when you get the milk ratios right perfect amount of sweetener you brewed the tea bag for the right amount of time it's it's good stuff be honest with me have you ever seen a cuter animal in your entire life? Oh, somebody wants a tummy rope. <laughs> somebody wants a tummy rope. Look at you. Look how gorgeous you are. Okay, so you wanna start off by making four flax eggs. So that's, a flax egg is one tablespoon of flax seed with two tablespoons of water. So you wanna make four of those. So I've just added eight tablespoons of water to the flax seed and then, this is, I'm making quite a, <laughs> I'm making quite a big batch of these by the way, so you can always halve the recipe if you want to make them, but don't want to make as big a batch. And you just want to let that sit until the flax seeds soak up the water. And then you want to measure out a cup of peanut butter. You want like runny, natural peanut butter. Sorry about the finger in the butter. I know it's gross. Da 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 da, da 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 da. Oh, oh, oh. Someone please come and remove this High School Musical soundtrack from my brain today. Pop that in the bowl. <laughs> ban, marry, kill. Paul Hollywood, Gordon Ramsay, Jamie Oliver. I'm gonna ban Gordon Ramsay. I don't think it'd be 
too bad. I'm gonna marry Paul Hollywood because I'm in love with Paul Hollywood and 100% I am murdering Jamie Oliver. Don't even have to think about it. What's your favorite breakfast that you could have every day? It changes a lot. At the minute, I'm really obsessed with coconut yogurt bowls. So I have some vanilla or strawberry coconut yogurt, fresh berries, some frozen blueberries, lots of granola and some nut butter. That's my go-to breakfast at the minute. Do you plan on having kids? I actually don't plan on having kids. I don't necessarily want them. I have never wanted them. And I think that needs to be more normalized. It's just expected that women should want to have kids and it's usually around this age. I'm 24, now only 25 and a lot of my friends are starting to have kids. I have absolutely no plans to have them anytime soon or to be honest at any point in my life. I'm not saying definitely not but I don't see it in my future and that's completely fine and needs to be more normalized and the world it's very overpopulated i think we could do with more people not having kids in my opinion opinion on how intuitive eating is portrayed online often still seems disordered i don't know about that i think the whole intuitive eating movement is really positive and when you're dealing with how you eat and people's eating habits I think it's a very touchy subject and I think, you know, as long as you're putting out content and you're speaking about intuitive eating in a way that is authentic to you and you know that you are eating in a way that makes you feel really good and energized and I don't know how to explain what I mean. People are putting content out about food and how they eat. As long as you know that it is genuinely healthy for you and is making you feel good and you're not restricting yourself of anything and it's it's okay to put that content out there if that makes sense i don't know how to describe what i mean um but intuitive eating is gonna look different to absolutely everybody that's the whole point of it being intuitive how do you come up with new content basically every day isn't it very time consuming it is quite time consuming there are definitely some days now that i am working more like i have a baking business and that has gotten a bit busier recently so i definitely have less time for the content creation stuff but i still because it's food i often just film my meals or film the snacks that I'm making for myself, which I do pretty much every day anyway. This tea's gone cold. As well, if I'm filming a dessert recipe, I will usually film a video of it for a reel and then take pictures of it. So I get like two posts out of it. Um, right, the flax eggs are ready, so I will bake some more. Okay, so add the flax eggs to the peanut butter. And then I actually recommend using brown sugar or coconut sugar for these usually, but I don't have any, so I'm just using cane sugar. Then it's two cups of sugar. The brown sugar just gives it a bit more of a caramelly taste, which is nice, but normal sugar is fine. Then a half a cup of melted coconut oil and a little dash of vanilla. If you didn't have your boyfriend, would you ever date a meat-loving guy? I definitely wouldn't not go out with somebody if I really liked them because they ate meat. Obviously, I would much rather that they didn't because it means that we kind of share the same views and morals around that and also it would mean that we would be able to eat the same meals and go to the same restaurants without it being a kind of stressy thing although I, it would be a massive preference that they didn't eat meat um i still wouldn't write something off you know if i liked someone i think it would be a bit of a shame if you didn't pursue something because they ate meat um but that's just me personally you know if if Christian Bale's gonna ask me out, but he enjoys a steak, then, you know, I'm not gonna say no. <laughs> right, I'm gonna add the dry ingredients to the wet mixture. Okay, so you wanna add in some almond flour, about three cups of almond flour, and about half a cup of coconut flour, about a teaspoon of baking soda, the most important part, chocolate chips. There we are, the dough is ready and she's bloody gorgeous. Taste test, just to make sure it's not poisonous. It's a joke, it's so good. 
How to deal with an ex-boyfriend that is kind of famous so you see them everywhere on social media. I don't have any tips for this because I've never experienced this. But please tell us who this is. I need to know. Would you ever compete in the Great British Bake Off like Freya Cox who was vegan? I actually applied to the Great British Bake Off a few years ago and got through to the round just before the like in-person audition so I had an interview with a lady on the phone then I didn't get through to the next part but I would absolutely love it it's my favorite show ever but I can't go on now because I bake as my job and you need to be like an amateur baker which I kind of still feel like I am because the products I do for my business it's not like very technical baking as such like I don't make breads and I don't prove things and stuff like that so I actually don't think I would do very well on the bake-off I'm not good at the really technical stuff I just want to cuddle Noel Fielding to be honest and I want Paul Hollywood's strong sausage fingers to shake my hand <laughs> please pretend I didn't say that what food or meal deserves to go straight in the bin trifle Name top three women crushes. Angelina Jolie, impeccable. She's so just beautiful and cool and gorgeous. Bella Hadid, amazing. At the minute, Zendaya. Zendaya, I think is absolutely just godly. She's so gorgeous. Have you ever had sex while being on your period or would you ever do it? Favorite Sex and City episode and character, who do you resonate with the most? Favourite character, obviously Samantha, she is one of the best characters ever written in TV or film ever, I love her so much. I feel like she's, when I watch Sex and City I feel like she's my friend even though she isn't, she's a fictional character but I just love her and I would love to have her as a friend. Favourite episode, I have too many, I can't pick one out but my favourite season is season 2. I feel like season two, every single episode is incredible. Okay, so you just wanna press it down evenly into a baking tray lined with some parchment paper. And then you wanna bake that on 175 degrees Celsius for around 16 minutes. Hottest celebrity outfit you've ever seen? Liz Hurley dress, impeccable. Anything Pamela Anderson wore in the 90s, impeccable. Anything that Bella Hadid wears ever, again, incredible. Do you think flirting equals cheating? No, absolutely not. I'm quite a flirty person. My boyfriend's quite a flirty person. I think you can definitely have harmless flirting. I flirt with my friends as in like my girlfriends. It's just the type of person that I am. My boyfriend is the same, he's just quite naturally flirty person with people and it's fine I think as long as you're fine with it, your partner is fine with it. Obviously that's not going to be the case for everyone because everyone has different personalities but it's a bit of harmless flirting. Never hurt nobody. Ever done dirty talk slash phone sex? I have texted, like sex, texted, sexted is what the kids call it these days isn't it? but I've never done it on the phone. I could maybe do it after a few drinks. Be an actress, a model, movie director, slash producer, or fashion designer, choose one. Actress. I want to be an actress so bad. I actually trained as an actress um, four years ago, I think it is now, four or five years ago. That's crazy. When I was 19, I did a, like an actor training course. Um, I think about being an actress every single day. It's. Honestly my dream but I am not pursuing it right now because uh, it just wasn't working out for me and then Covid happened and I started my baking business but never say never, you know. If any talent agents watch my YouTube videos, I have some self tapes on my laptop I can send you. <laughs> okay, I'm going to tidy up this mess um, and I will show you when the blondies are out of the oven. Okay, I would usually say wait a little bit longer to cut them. Look how gooey 
and delicious. And what I do is I drizzle over some dark chocolate. But I'm impatient, so I'm gonna do it now. Then, to finish her off, I sprinkle over some chopped peanuts. Very, very extremely sexy. You have to try these. They're literally insane. Well, they're all ready to go to my friend and I actually made an extra batch for me um, because the pain of not being able to eat any of these was too much and they're too good, so. But thank you very much for watching. It's been fun. There is nothing better than baking delicious things. It just brings me a lot of inner peace and calm and answering the questions was very fun. Yeah, have a lovely day, whatever you're doing. Thanks for watching, bye.